Hey guys, so come back again. It's your girl Esther Adana. So today we made yummy pasta and guys it came out so so delicious so yummy and so tasty so the first thing i did was to wash my tomatoes and slice it just the way you can see in this video go ahead and pour in your cooking pan if you have oven you can decide to use your oven set your pan on the fire and cook until the water in the tomato is completely dry don't forget to add in your onions because we need the flavor to be enhanced just the way you are seeing here at this point the water is almost dried so i'll just go ahead and turn down my heat and blend my tomato and pepper blend it until it is very smooth in another pot of boiling water go in with your pasta and cook until it is soft because at the end of the day we won't want to use too much water in making our pasta go in with a pinch of salt cover it and allow to cook for about few minutes i actually cooked mine for about five minutes so ensure you keep watch if you are not using this particular type of pasta once you are done cooking your pasta pour in i use coconut oil for this recipe you can decide to use any oil of your choice pour in your oil in a cooking pan go in with your already blended tomato pepper and onion and fry until the water in your tomato is completely dried At this point, I used two beef for this recipe. You can decide to add more protein. You can decide to substitute protein. However you choose is completely left for you. So I actually added my two beef because I was actually the only person that is going to enjoy this yummy, tasty jollof pasta. So at this point, the water in my tomato is almost dry. I went in my seasoning cube and salt. I didn't add much spicy to this recipe and guess what it came out so so yummy and delicious even without adding too much spicy so i only prepared this yummy jollof pasta with seasoning cube and salt at this point you can see the oil forming bubble go in with a little drop of water like i said before you don't need too much water in making your yummy jollof pasta so at this point i went ahead and turned my stew as you can see here make sure it is very thick and creamy just the way you can see here go in with your pasta and give it a good good mix you need to mix this thoroughly so that your sauce will get in every part of your pasta as you can see it's actually a straw pasta so you need to give it a good mix so that it will get in even the inside of the pasta at this time i added my vegetable i use carrots and green beans slice it to a very tiny tiny piece or however you decide is completely left to you turn your pasta turn off your light and serve your yummy jollof pasta <music> 